Right lads, we're here, no point in hands. We're outside Grogan's, we're hoping to come here for a few creamy points on Monday, but unfortunately we can't. It's been put on the back burner to August 10th. Personally, I think it's it's a bit unfair. These pubs had, had everything ready to go, bar staff, uh, product, all that stuff, ready to go for Monday, July 20th. Yeah, Monday, July 20th, and they've just been kicked in the nuts. I'm just told, no lads, it's gonna be at least three weeks, if, if not more. I just think it's a little bit unfair that these guys have to stay closed while the likes of Pygmalion across the road are able to stay open. Um, I would have thought it would make more sense to, not that I would want that, but I would have thought it would make more sense to close them all than, than keep these guys open, even though these guys, not Pygmalion in particular, but a lot of these pubs that are open are the ones doing the damage and the guys are staying closed, abiding by the rules, are getting fucked in the ass. And we actually have a clip from Daniel, a uh, spokesperson for Grogan's. He was reacting to the news, so we'll play that now. The news really didn't come as that much of a surprise, given the lack of guidelines that were released in the weeks leading up to this. We kind of got a sense that this was going to be what was coming. Obviously still though, it's really disappointing to find out four days before you were slated to open for the last two months that this was no longer going to happen and we put a lot of effort into trying to get the place ready and get it right and get a lot of work done for reopening and obviously we're extremely disappointed and kind of worried as well to see that comments today are saying that pubs might not open on the 10th of august at all so yeah it's a difficult one to take it's like and then you've got pubs like the bankers we were obviously here last week From alan who is the owner he basically said yeah it's grand that they can stay open but he does feel bad that they're staying open and the other pubs are staying closed also he just said uh, i think i quoted him earlier it's a complete kick in the nuts for the bar trade the lack of clarity leading up to when the decision was actually made was just a disgrace and I know it's it's tough for the government making decisions but people's livelihoods are here, they're, again they're, they're booking staff, they're bringing in products like fresh food and stuff to give them four or five days notice and then kick them back three whole weeks without even guaranteeing that they can open on August 10th. Yeah, just very, very tough. I do think a lot of pubs um, will open regardless, uh, they'll put on a food offering and um, and uh, hopefully they'll do. Th hopefully they'll do well. I do hope that they will uh, keep with the guidelines and 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 the social distance uh, and what have you, so that all the pubs can definitely focus on opening up uh, properly from the tenth of August. And here we stand, cozy in the exact same spot. I see the smile on your face through the mask, John Kyo's, um We were a very different scene from when we were here. What ten months ago, cozy When there must have been at least. Three or four hundred people standing outside the pub. Um, I, with one of our sort of first reviews, I had no fucking clue. I didn't even know the pub. I'm not going to lie, didn't know what it was at. Um, Luke Fitzgerald is in the background spotting. So, what actually led to that decision to be made, lads? The the three week push. We don't know, and we'll never know. Was it the lack of face coverings? Was it the lads having gaff parties with 50 other mates? We don't know. We'll never know. But all I know is. I hope we can get back to the likes of John Kyo's, uh, Grogan's, Gravediggers, Cobblestones, anywhere you can name, I hope we can get back soon.